Have you ever pondered the origins of the vast oceans that envelop 70% of our planet? It's a fascinating mystery, one that takes us back billions of years to an Earth vastly different from the one we inhabit today. Imagine, if you will, a world aflame, a searing sphere of molten rock and relentless volcanic activity. This was our planet in its infancy, a fiery, tumultuous place where the concept of a cool, tranquil ocean was as alien as the void of space itself. Asteroids pummeled the surface relentlessly, adding to the chaotic tableau of early Earth. Yet amidst this seeming inhospitality, the seeds of life were being sown. For within this fiery cauldron, hidden beneath layers of rock and magma, lay a precious resource, biding its time, water. Early Earth was a fiery cauldron far from the blue marble we know today. Imagine, if you will, that the water we see today was once trapped deep within the Earth. Yes, you heard right. Scientists proposed that when our planet was forming, a vast amount of water got sealed within its mantle. The Earth was a pressure cooker, a molten ball of rock and metal with water as one of the surprise ingredients. But how did the water escape its rocky prison? The answer lies in the fiery wrath of volcanoes. Picture the scene, volcanoes erupting on a scale we can barely comprehend. Each eruption, a cataclysmic event, spewing out not just lava, but also, crucially, steam. This steam was the water that had been locked away in the Earth's mantle, now released into the atmosphere. Over time, this water vapor accumulated, creating a blanket of steam around the young, tumultuous Earth. Volcanoes belched out steam, filling our atmosphere with water vapor. Just imagine, every raindrop, every ocean, every lake started its journey deep within the Earth. But could comets, those icy visitors from space, have played a role too? Picture this. Comets, cosmic snowballs from the far reaches of our solar system, streaking towards our young, hot planet. Each one is packed to the brim with ice, a frozen cocktail of water and other chemicals. As these celestial bodies made their fiery descent, they didn't just melt away into oblivion. No, their icy cargo survived the journey, introducing even more water to our fledgling planet. Some scientists estimate that billions of these icy interlopers could have contributed to Earth's water supply. Imagine that, water delivery on a cosmic scale. A bombardment of icy comets, each a tiny piece in the puzzle of Earth's vast oceans. It's a theory that has gained ground in the scientific community and one that adds another layer of intrigue to the story of our blue planet. Comets, like icy water trucks, may have helped fill our oceans. As the Earth cooled, something extraordinary happened. The previously hot and volatile planet began to settle down, its fiery surface giving way to a calmer, more stable environment. The water vapor trapped in the atmosphere, released by volcanic activity and delivered by icy comets, began to condense into liquid. It rained and rained and rained. For thousands of years it rained, filling the basins and lowlands, creating the vast oceans we marvel at today. But is that the whole story? The ratios of certain elements in our water suggest there might be more to this tale. Perhaps there are other sources of water yet undiscovered that contributed to our blue planet. The mystery of our oceans continues to baffle and intrigue scientists to this day. So next time you gaze upon the ocean's expanse, remember the incredible journey water has undertaken and the mysteries that still lie beneath.